hello my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel so today I am using this little pretty thing from Tasha Denona this is the camel palette so if you like shadows that blend well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is the one this is the one if you like neutrals yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the one so anyways, I have had a chance to use this palette a few times and I've done a light look with it and now I'm doing kind of a smokier look with it after I saw um, a picture of Nikki Tutorials online. She had actually used um, the palette, I think, from Kylie, maybe in Mario. I don't know. I don't know. But... She had this pop of blue, and today is mine and my husband's 18th anniversary. Not sure when this video will actually be published, but we are celebrating our 18th year to get today together. Whew, that was a mouthful. So when I looked up um, colors for the 18th year, blue um, was one of the colors, and sapphire is the color for September, and my wedding ring has a bunch of sapphires in it. So I thought, okay, I just saw this picture with Nikki Tutorials using a lot of the brown smoky look with a pop of color in the a blue in the center. I had to do it. I had to do it. So I'm going to show you my little inspiration photo, if I can find it. And yeah, it didn't come out exact. Oh, how about we face the same way? How about we face the same way? And I don't know how to do that pouty... I don't know how to do that the lip look but um, yeah so this is this was my inspiration photo and since we were going out on a special date tonight being that it's our 18th wedding anniversary I did also want my foundation to be amazing and you get amazing foundation with Natasha Denona so I'm actually kind of doing a look using both of these products because this foundation is the freaking bomb I love this foundation although this review is not about that foundation it's about this palette love this palette um love the colors love the blendability absolutely beautiful 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 so if you haven't picked this up you love these colors and you don't mind spending a little bit of money i think it's like between 42 and 48 dollars let's go with 46 anyways if you don't mind a pricier palette i i would go ahead and, and pick this up if you're huge in the neutrals I love neutrals it just made sense for me so anyways if you do want to see how I created this wedding 18th year anniversary look you're in the right spot so stay tuned and I want to say hello miss sis here we go look like Petey from the rascals so if this blends out, PD number two. All right, I'm gonna add some more of this brown. Okay, I got my brown base. So that's good. This color Safari. So the Safari kind of blends out the edge of that eyeliner is nice and pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with the color Barosto. Sounds kind of like a coffee bean. And we're just going to plug this right on top of where we put the eyeliner as a base. And I'm coming up into that color called Safari. Kind of blending the browns into that Safari color. Okay, so we're going to use a lash liner from Kat Von D. This is in Trooper. And let's hope I don't get it everywhere. It's like a little sponge applicator, kind of on a doe foot. It's really interesting. So I am doing the upper waterline, and I'm going to go ahead and take it into my lower lash line. And I just stab myself in the eye. That's always fun. Okay, good times taking back the flat brush that I used earlier with the brown and I'm just going to smudge 
the brown and that black together. Now I know I've left that a little bit open right there, which it looks weird, but hopefully by the time I'm done, it's not going to look as weird as it does right now. Maybe a little weird, but not as weird. All right, I'm going to pick up the pancake ice cream from Beauty Bakery. Got this little flat brush here. I'm just kind of tapping. All right, I'm going to take this Stila. This color is in Starlight. It's a shimmer and glow eyeshadow. And I got a little crazy there. So we'll get that cleaned up in a second. Okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to pick up a blue. And this blue is from JD Glow. It is called Haze. So I'm going to pick up a little flat brush. I just dug in there. So in that little open spot that I had down below is where I'm going to put that blue. I do have a Marc Jacobs. This color is out of the blue. And in that spot on the inner waterline that I left open is where we're going to put that. Okay, so I got the Stila kind of all over the place. So I'm going to go back up and buff that out with the dark brown. And then picking back up my soft dome brush, I'm going to pick back up that dark brown and blend on the edges of that starlight. With that flat, fluffy brush, picking up that brown, I'm going to just go right over where I put the eyeliner on the lower lash line. It is amazing to me I work in this little space. I touch something and it disappears. Oh, here it is. Okay, so Starlight, I'm going to pick back up and kind of in the center, I'm going to add just a little bit more to brighten anything that may have gotten dull while I was taking care of the edges. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my gel and with an angled brush, I'm going to work that liner across the upper water line or upper lash line. Day is mine and my husband's 18th anniversary, so the Tarte eyelashes qualify for a special occasion. Now I am having trouble with my eyes watering since I'm still not feeling well. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this eyelash glue kind of where I get lifting. And what I want to be able to do is basically have two sides that are tacky, meaning on the eyelash and then a little bit on my skin. I'm going to play with these to get them kind of art since my eye shape is kind of, kind of like an upside down U. All right, wish me luck. This one went rather nice. Now I've not used, I typically don't, I use like 99 cent eyelashes or, you know, the Ardell's five and a five for $12 or something, which I really like both of those. But I will say the thick banded <clears throat> eyelashes always make me really nervous. And these were thick banded, but dang, did they go on nice. Not your typical really like hard plastic thick band. This was more like a, almost like a rubber on it. And man, those popped on so easy. While those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Brow Wiz to work on my eyebrows. And then my double decker lashes or mascara, I'm going to put on my own lashes and kind of make, melt them into the Tarte's eyelashes. I absolutely love false eyelashes. They just finish off an eye look. Hope Amazing. you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm really enjoying this Natasha Denona Camel Palette. So if you haven't picked it up and you like browns, 
I would say you definitely need this palette. It is, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun if you like the browns or neutral colors. And I really like how they blend. They blend really, really nice. And yeah, I mean, it just, they go on super awesome. So now it's time for me to fix my hair to get ready for us to go out on our 18th anniversary dinner date. Boop, boop. You get, you get a chance to read bits um, about the products, which I went over. And then they just have some really great articles on the inside. So yeah. I, I love the fact that there's 50 ways to be thankful, so I read through those and just kind of had a moment um, thinking about all the things that I am thankful for. And to be honest, my YouTube audience and some of the friendships I've gotten from YouTube should have been on this list, but I guess they figure not everyone's on YouTube, so they didn't add it. But if there was 51 reasons to be thankful, having an awesome YouTube audience would be one. Um, I absolutely love the YouTube audience. Hi, Mrs. Then, um, yeah, I mean, they just have some great articles in here, and I love that they put in a horoscope, so that just cracks me up. So let's see what my horoscope is. My horoscope is peppermint mocha. Mm -hmm. The most extravagant of the, of the Zodiac needs a drink to match her bold, over-the-top aura. Yes, y'all, I'm a Leo. Mm-hmm. Bet you couldn't guess that. The peppermint mocha is rich with sweet flavors and is always topped with a dollop of whipped cream and pretty peppermint shavings. So that is the libation of choice if you are a Leo. Leo I am. And that's kind of funny because I actually really do like peppermint uh, mocha. So that's just absolutely too cute. Anyways, just really wanted to share with you the unboxing. This is probably my favorite Again, FabFitFun unboxing that I've done in a long time. So absolutely excellent there. Sorry you guys have had to listen to my fan in the background, but it is hot as hell. Hot as hell. Yeah. And then the lights don't help much either as far as sweating goes, which is absolutely attractive. Totally attractive. Anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. But I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing of FabFitFun as much as I enjoyed unboxing it with y'all. And I am just tickled at the pieces that I got this time. I love it. Anyways, hope y'all have a great one. Until next time.